I'm so amped, it's unbelievable. Yay, thank you. I didn't know you were gonna be actually feeding him before we jumped in. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Elena and this is Riley, and this is our home, La Vagabond. <laughs> We've been sailing around the world for the last five years and have recently found ourselves with a stowaway. <laughs> Meet Lenny. Subscribe and welcome aboard. If you forgot what's been going on lately on board the Vagabond, Riley, Lenny and myself sailed over to the Bahamas from Fort Lauderdale in Florida. We were on our way to meet Dan the Shark Man. We met on Instagram. Yes sir. And you're an amazing free dive underwater photographer. And you're going to take us to Tiger Beach. To Tiger Beach, yes sir. Thank you very much. No, of course. After picking him and his partner Jackie up, it was smooth sailing over to Dan's secret shark spot. A spot so secret that he wouldn't even tell us where we were going. <laughs> so he made us set the sails and he navigated the way there. We arrived close by just before nightfall and dropped anchor. The plan was to sail the rest of the way upon sunrise and jump in the water with the sharks after breakfast. Three metres that is. 3.3 metres. Good morning, sunshine. Yes. Wow. I'm just about to make a coffee and I probably don't need one this morning because I'm already so excited slash nervous. Oh, Elena, film that. Look at that boat. What? Look at that. <laughs> I already filmed oh, the sunrise. Oh, look at the boat going past. Oh, it does keep getting better. We're all going crazy about the sunrise <laughs> right now. Um, Dan the shark man has already seen a few sharks off the back. Have you seen a tiger shark yet? I thought I just saw one, but it's just doing big wide loops. Okay, yeah. As soon as we get the candy in, it'll be good. All right. Oh I didn't know you were going to be actually feeding them before we jumped in. <laughs> Say good morning, Lenny. Hi. Oh. <laughs> oh, smile. Hi. Good morning. Did you have a good sleep? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good morning, mate. How did you sleep? Good boy. How excited are you? I'm so amped, it's unbelievable. I can tell. All right, what does Riley need to know for the dive? Um, obviously, just the basic things like when you're getting in, just slide in, don't jump in. Yep. No backflips in or yep. anything like that. Yep. They're usually super, super chill. They do big loops and they just come back every once in a while. Don't ride them. <laughs> Yeah, try, try not to ride the massive tiger shark, please. Noted. Yeah. <laughs> Mad yeah. dog would do it. <laughs> Mad dog. Mad dog. What happened when you got up from your dive? It was so funny. I, I got I hopped in the water for a while and Jackie was looking after Lenny. And I could hear he was kind of cracking it. And um oh, I, I could too. I was hoping that you'd get out and look after him. I hopped out of the water <laughs> and Jackie's, you know, doing a really good job bouncing him around, but Lenny had her hair in his fists with spew on his face. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Lenny, where's your manners? And we had to like unpeel his fist from her hair and like he pulled out all her hair. <laughs> He was so good though. Yeah, he was. He was so good. And you see it's cool how they all have their different personalities. There's a tiger shark here called Budface because <laughs> when when she was younger, she either got bit or hit by a propeller or something. 
and she's got a gnarly line on her face that makes her the her snout look like a butt, butt cheek. <laughs> <laughs> and the name definitely fits the personality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It could also be a love heart. Mm -hmm. What about love mm -hmm. face? No. <laughs> it's not as fitting, I don't think. No. And how did you go, Jackie? Oh yeah, yeah. please tell us. <laughs> that was so funny. I went well. Jackie was at the hanging on to the rope at the back of the boat where just to uh, the rope that we have out for the current. But Faith started going up towards her. Because you Definitely. see them, and you said don't like make sure you know where they are, so I was watching all of them to make sure I knew, and then I saw her look up, and I was like, oh no. This is it. And then she started <laughs> coming up, and I'm like, where the hell? I, I mean, I had you. her the whole time. I had her, I was right next to her the whole time, and yeah. I was just letting her get a little bit close, and then I was gonna just give her a little nudge away. Yeah, yeah. But just a little bit. <laughs> If the shark, if Buttface was going for Jackie, not going for her, but headed in that direction, mm -hmm. you would intercept and push that way. Yeah, yeah, and you wouldn't even need to push. You just gently put your hand there, and usually they're, they're like so aware of their surroundings. Yeah. Before you even touch them, they're already starting to move, yeah, right. move their head. So yeah, you don't, you just got to gently let them know that you're there. Because like like I said, they like sneaking up behind you. Mm. Yeah. She, I feel like so she obviously likes. she felt... Jackie wasn't watching, even though she was. She probably just felt like she wasn't. She was trying to square up with me. Yeah, she was. <laughs> Tiger sharks prefer warm water, luckily for us. To jump into crystal blue water in my bikinis to swim with these beautiful creatures was honestly an experience like no other. These guys come to hang out here for the winter. Attacks are pretty rare among our stripy friends, although the way they say hello can sometimes be with their jagged, razor-sharp teeth which can be deadly for us fragile-limbed humans. So you always want to have your eyes on the shark to avoid it creeping up behind you to say good day. Tiger sharks have an enormous appetite and can eat almost anything they find in their path. In their stomachs, trash, bags and even license plates have been found. Dan was hand feeding them chum, which I never thought I'd see someone do. I found a whole new appreciation for these animals after the dive. so mean. I can't believe you did that to me. Riley grabbed my leg underwater. I'd heard stories about when sharks bite you, it's so painful that you can't feel it and I didn't feel any pain and I was like this is it, a shark's got my leg and I turned around and I saw Riley and I was like I'm gonna, I think I strangled you. I grabbed your neck. <laughs> I was like, so mean. Snack time. Did you see anything different? Um, nah but just, I feel better. Like, I haven't been freediving in months, so I feel more confident in the water and um, just enjoying it way more. It's so good. Swimming, swimming with those tigers is like, they're a big animal, right? And you're like, you're probably that far away from them. I, I touched him on the tail. <laughs> and they're huge. Incredible. Mm. I love looking at their eyes, hey. Yeah, and its eyes rolled in the back of its head. I wish I was filming that. Kind of creepy, but also cool. Mm. You guys, we've got new merch out. These gorgeous little cotton onesies with our Le Bon design. You can also get them in men's and women's clothing. You can have a browse in the link in the description below. We're really proud of them. Riley designed it. He wants me to tell you all that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel bad for making fun of them, but I was just watching this boat next door, it's a dive boat, and I think we think it's National Geographic filming on there because there's big like fur things and what do you call them? Microphones. I just um, call it a sound guy. There's a furry sound guy. There's a furry <laughs> sound guy over there. And I just heard like a lot of commotion and then the whoever's like the main person was like, ah, oh, there's a brand new wetsuit. So I think like a shark's like bit in his wetsuit and then you know everyone was laughing and stuff and then like two minutes later 
there was a lot of commotion again and he went, ah, oh, that's a brand new wetsuit. <laughs> so they're like, just for Yeah, like obviously they didn't get it on film somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> they have a lot of sharks over there. You look like a hillbilly. <laughs> Yeehaw! Don't get into some wine here. I'm gonna like Kid Rock. <laughs> you need to do something about this Kid Rock situation. I actually like it. I might uh, sport this attire more often, Elena. Uh... <laughs> that. We're camping out tonight. Us and the sharks. And another sailboat over here. You can see the sharks when you walk up the stairs in the companionway there through the porthole. It's pretty cool. Well, we survived, Lenny. Are you happy? Mum and Dad are here for another day. <laughs> um, <clears throat> we just wanted to quickly recommend Dan's uh, business. He has a charter boat here and he does what we just did, diving with the tiger sharks out here. Yep, he's not the university degree guy. He's the hands-on experience uh, shark man. Yeah, so yep. if you're interested in doing this, he's such a legend. Yeah, he made us feel so safe and he has spent hours and hours and hours underwater, worked all over the world, he knows what he's doing. Good young kid and he's just starting a business, so get, get in around touch him. With him. Get around him. Link people. in the description below. We love you Dan. Thanks for like one of the coolest experiences of my life so far. Honestly. Thank you Dan. Yay, thank you. <laughs> and while I've got you here guys, please like the video if you like it. Thumbs up and um, subscribe if you're new here. Scubs together. so late in the night here. Everyone is sleeping and um, every time I close my eyes I can see sharks. <laughs> that was just the most incredible day. It was absolutely mind-blowingly amazing. If you get a chance check out Daniel's Instagram. I learned more I learnt more in an afternoon with him than I, than I have for the last four years diving. Shark was amazing. What a day. What. What a day. Alright. Cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get back to sleep. Close my eyes and I can see a big hammerhead out the back and then a tiger shark coming straight at me. Alright. Thanks for watching and join us this Friday for a bonus episode. Someone gets a little too confident on the next dive. Then on Monday, we batten down the hatches for some rough weather headed our way, before setting sail to the Abaco Islands to explore some places we've never been. It's time to teach Lenny how to swim.